And then Kelly says, Get sucking! I know. I was there. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that was great. So how's he doing, Doc? Well, he killer should live. Should live to drink another day. What the hell happened in there, Doc? Seems he tried to commit suicide, boys. Harsh way to go the way he tried. Well, how's that? It seems he tried to sever his brain stem with a pencil. Luckily, he only suffered a few minor scratches, but I think it could harm him in the long run. Well, what is it, the HIV? Who's out there? Better go check on them, boys. And guys, let's leave the whole suicide thing out of this. We don't want them feeling ashamed of anything. Yeah. yeah. This way, boys. Doc, I told you I didn't want to see nobody, goddammit. Doc tells us you tried to kill yourself, you little pussy. Well, come on, guys. No, I didn't. It's all right. I mean, why wouldn't you? You got no reason to live anyways. Wh what? I mean, your father hates you, your mother killed herself in front of you, and your brother. Yeah, then your brother killed himself right then and there. Also, in front of you. Your dog hates you. Hell, I hate you. I hate you just as much. Hell, you hate you! This isn't helping, guys. The doc said he hates you, too. I didn't say that. Today. Doc. I mean, hell, it'd be hard to list reasons why you shouldn't kill yourself. He's right. I can't think of one reason you shouldn't hang yourself in your closet right now. That's exactly my point! He's right. Guys, I didn't try and kill myself. Then what were you doing? It, it's embarrassing. Come on. What were you doing, Kelly? I was trying to make myself throw up. I, I believe it, guys. And? That's it. It's a terrible thing, Samuel. Well, hell, who isn't bulimic nowadays? I know I am. Hell yeah, we gotta stay looking good for the ladies. Plus, you don't have to shit as much. Heck yeah. All the taste with none of the waste, except for the puke, you know? Now, the doctor says you got some scratches on the back of your throat. If you just clip your nails, they'll go right away. That's not how it happened. You see, with these Tyrannosaurus Rex like arms of mine, I just can't quite get to the back of my throat. I grabbed a pencil and just started jabbing and jabbing. Saw blood and I knew something was wrong. Yeah, dumbass, you were stabbing yourself in the throat with a pencil! Kelly, from your actions, you have caused your body great physical damage. Parts of this pencil we're using got in your bloodstream. You have lead poisoning, Kelly, and you're gonna die. And hopefully soon, because I gotta get lunch. What the hell are you talking about? You can't get lead poisoning from a pencil. That's an old wives' tale, Doc. It's just harmless graphite. Oh, well, in that case, you kidneys are sinking like the Titanic, and you should die in the next week or so. That would have been my first guess, since you're turning yellow and all. So I don't think you're going to live to drink another day, boy. But what do I know? I'm the only veterinarian. Yep, you're still the only doctor in town. Why are you so bloody right now, Doc? Well, funny thing, son. Stopped off at Stuart Gillen's place to do some prostate exams. There was little cows out there. Hell yeah. Well, it, and there, yeah, it did not go well. Prostates deteriorated, and at the end, we had to put a couple of them down. Jesus. He needed his livestock. That was his only source of income. Well, not his livestock, boys. Two daughters. <laughs> hey, you, you sure about my kidneys, Doc? Oh, you're gone, boy. You're gone. Oh. Yeah, the stool sample came back, boy. You're literally half Korean. Congratulations. All the years of lives, my, my God. <laughs> Take it off, son. Take it off.